Christmas bridges, this is amazing. I guess we should find some better lighting. Um, this is gonna be a real depressing topic. Yeah, so basically, quarantine has been hard on me, not because jobs or school or whatever the hell. I don't even know how to start out this video. I really hate video intros where they have to go generic. That doesn't interest me at all. I've been missing basically anybody at all. Not being around people pretty much ever, except from family. It's messing me up. It's really messing with me to not be around anybody vaguely my age. I'm not usually around people my age anyway before this, and that always messed me up, but this is so much frickin' worse. I woke up today, and it was almost as if I couldn't frickin' see. I feel frickin' restless all the time, even though I don't want to do anything. It just feels heavy. My stomach gets that feeling, that bad one I used to get. It feels like something and you struck a string and it's died a little. I used to get to the point where it felt like my stomach was a dying plane. I would get that sad, I'd hit that string that many times. I haven't for a while. I'm going nowhere. I feel like where I'm walking doesn't freaking matter anymore. I feel like a crackhead every time I get up and move around, right? Every time I'm going somewhere. Oh. There's nobody out, whether it's day or night, that people are freaking watching, that I go nowhere, that they think about, I'm just walking around like that, like they might be scared of me or something. It doesn't freaking matter, obviously. I don't even know if, li if listless is the right word. I'm gonna have to look that up in my freaking thesaurus. <laughs> in my Roger's pocket thesaurus. I feel like I'm in my freaking shell. Like I'm molting, like there's this outer shell and I'm trying to cave a hole out of it. Trying to freaking wiggle my little animal arms and my animal legs and claw my way out of it. Well, there's nothing I can do. It's like I'm freaking chewing on my own skin, pulling on my own hair, expecting it to grow. That's what this feels like, honestly. Ugh. I don't even know what to do anymore, because the ideal thing would be to do the things on my registry of things to do. But I can't do them. Maybe having to edit this stupidly long freaking video will help me. I can make a guess on whether I doubt it or not, but that wouldn't even matter at this point, would it? Whatever caring is, I'm so absolved from, from the freaking concept that it's not even relevant to the discussion. It's like I'm pulling strings on everything I do. This has got to be whatever people on Hastings feel if their family had deserted them or something. This isn't a normal feeling. <sighs> I'm starting to sound like the most messed up of my friends when I get to talk in deep. On frick. I just don't want to feel like I'm in the dark anymore. I've been in here so many freaking years. I've just been out here to the point that I don't give a damn about. I don't even know because it doesn't cross my mind anymore. I keep wanting to say it doesn't matter, but that's so obvious it's not even relevant. Frickin' cats in front of me as I'm walking right now are more relevant than either of those concepts. Let's be honest with ourselves. And they're super cute too. And I love them. And their little frickin' legs. Look at this creature. Look. What up? <laughs> Leg creature. There's this song I've been listening to recently quite a lot. There's two songs I'm gonna tell you about. One is Affection by Between Friends. Because I'm definitely looking for affection in all the wrong places, and I have been for quite a freaking while. That's why I'm single at 20 years old, and I've never been on a date. I'm looking for affection in a small town. I can only think of one gay guy right now that I can name, and he young. <laughs> the other song that takes a sample from Rat in a Cage, which is a fantastic song. I never really heard the full version of it. I just heard the Weird Al version. 
which is hella good. I, it took me a while to figure out what song they were sampling, but it just plays in the background on repeat, on loop. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. I'm so low and depressed, you know. But it feels like it knows something, right? The whole song feels like it freaking knows something. But I feel like whoever freaking wrote that song, oh, and probably that song remixing, just have had a lot more experience than most people have in their life at that point. Obviously, they're both freaking famous. Let's not discount that. They could have used their hatred of fame to draw that angle. <laughs> that song is the stuff. I want to feel like somebody's bringing me into the light. Just take my hand and lead me into the good freaking parts of whatever this is. I thought I was going to have one person to spend quarantine with. I was wrong. I can't believe that I'm not as mad at my friends as I usually would been. I would have been so pissed if I just wasn't on testosterone. I think I would actually slap somebody. I don't know who it would be, but whoever wrung me next, and that would just be the start of it, really. I would really just see what happened. I guess it's kind of better that I'm not as mentally messed up as I was before testosterone. It's a different world. This is a much different world than I thought it would be at this point. What is going on here? Damn, donut shops in high demand today. They're probably catching some speed or something. And I'm not a freaking 13, 12 or whatever. I, I, I respect justice and definitely be done efficiently. Human decency should be upholded, obviously. Another one. You know how they say friends fucking keep it with you throughout the hardest fucking times? I just can't believe that not one of them is helping me through this. I don't even know what to think about that. If I should actually be angry about it or not. Because somehow on some level I'm not, but I'm used to thinking of anger. The byproduct of PMDD version. Which is not accurate. High sensitivity on top of it. I'm my own version of rocking back and forth right now, honestly. I would say I'm close to losing it, but I don't even know what losing it would be. There's nothing I can retaliate against. I don't even know what I would do if I had the chance to take out my anger. What the hell would that even be at this point? It's not like anyone would see it. <laughs> the little creature is afraid. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I need a cat. I wish to pet an animal. I wish I were the animal to be pet. That would be my number one wish, is that someone would let me sit on their lap and just pet me as if I am a cat. I need that kind of therapy. Give it a name and put it up on the wall. Sign me the hell up. I don't think I've got more to say, really. I'm just talking in circles. I really don't think this is gonna reach anyone. I just honestly don't think people are gonna care at this point. Because they don't. Nobody gives a damn about anybody else's struggle right now. We all pretend that we're gonna do that. We're putting hearts everywhere. As if that's a substitute for a real conversation. Nothing we're doing to substitute. The one need of ours that separates us from whichever kind of species you're thinking of that isn't inherently social helps at all. It hasn't for a while and we're pretending it does. As if social media and binge watching, whatever the hell it is, is it even gonna help? Dude, that's exactly the same as nutting in a bucket and flinging it out the window. I, I just feel like for a long time nobody has understood how futile pretty much all their behavior is. It's so freaking stupid. But I wish I could have a person around me, some type of homie that just made me feel like things were worthwhile again. I. I'm so done. It feels like stepping in into the ocean like I did earlier today and just scattering a bunch of freaking fish. That's what everything we're doing right now is like. It's almost as if nobody's just felt any sort of fear about this before. It's almost as if nobody's freaking lived my life. 
I've really got to shut this off. I can't keep saying things. I'm just going to seem like more of a bigger douchebag than I am. Repercussions on top of repercussions. What the hell have I got to do about any of it? My voice isn't going to matter in this. I'll be drinking freaking CG kid looking ass.